The world is on the cusp of a transformation of how we think about and experience travel. The pace of change in vehicle technology is quickening all the time, and so is our commitment to it. In the UK, we are at the forefront of these changes, making safer, cleaner vehicles that help to deliver sustainable growth for our economy and high-quality jobs for our future. Through our industrial strategy, uh, we are making the UK a go-to destination for the development of this technology. We're investing over £200 million and working together with industry across sectors to create the world's best place to test and develop connected and autonomous vehicles. The Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles is a UK government team that's been set up to work with industry to ensure the UK stays at the forefront of the development and the deployment of connected and autonomous vehicle technology. As part of our industrial strategy, the UK government is investing in the skills, the research and the infrastructure necessary to ensure that the UK remains competitive now and into the future. The UK has strength in depth in cutting edge technology, a history of innovation in automotive engineering, one of the most open regulatory frameworks in the world and real world transport challenges to solve. That's why the UK is one of the best places in the world to come and develop this technology. The brightest minds from our universities and technology companies are working with automotive companies, insurance companies and public authorities backed up by government research and development money to help work together to solve transport challenges. Hariba Myra, we're a vehicle engineering uh, consultancy and testing business based in the Midlands in the UK. We provide testing facilities with the UK's largest proving ground including uh, the UK's only connected car proving ground. What is genuinely unique about the UK is that we have this region that really runs from London up through the Midlands. We start with London and its fintech capabilities, we have the Formula One corridor, we have the academic excellence of Oxford and Cambridge, and then we have the automotive heartland in the Midlands. What we've got there is a fantastic ecosystem of intellectual capabilities and test assets and government bodies all working together in a collaborative way. Oxbotica is a company that originally span out at the University of Oxford after a decade's thinking on how to make machines intelligent. Oxpodica writes the software and AI systems that makes cars drive themselves. A major reason for starting Oxpodica in the UK was the attitude the UK government has to bringing this technology on, to helping companies get started to hire, develop, test and export this technology from the UK. The UK has some of the safest roads in the world, but too many people still die or are seriously injured in road crashes. This technology has the potential to radically improve that, saving lives. It could also offer new travel options for people who are elderly or mobility impaired. TRL is the UK's Transport Research Laboratory, a centre of excellence for all things related to surface transportation, including connected and automated vehicles. TRL has a number of projects on automated vehicles throughout the UK. One of them is Gateway, based in Greenwich, where we're looking at three different types of automated vehicle and testing public trust and acceptance of those vehicles in an urban environment. One of the great things about testing in the UK is the range of different environments that we have in which to prove these technologies. Proving grounds, but also real world mega city environments like we're doing in Greenwich as the UK Smart Mobility Living Lab, where we can look to see how connected and automated vehicle technologies fit in alongside the existing transport provision. We know that regulation can potentially act as a barrier to the safe development of this technology. The UK is one of the most open regulatory frameworks in the world. For example, you can test automated vehicles on public roads anywhere in the UK without a permit. We're acting to unblock barriers where we see them and targeting reform at areas where we know that the technology is near to market. The Thatcham Research is an entity that sits really between the insurance industry and the vehicle manufacturers. Here in the UK, I think the advantage we have is we were first to really set down clear guidelines in how autonomous cars should be tested, uh, tested legally. And those are the key elements that I think are, are driving vehicle manufacturers to bring their testing to the UK. I think the government's been quite agile on this and the recent bill, which is the Vehicle Technology and uh, Aviation Bill, that's really important in uh, allowing a framework for vehicle manufacturers to bring innovation to the UK market these are really exciting times and the UK government is backing up its enthusiasm with investment. We're investing £100 million to be matched by industry match funding in testing upgrades to ensure we've got the ecosystem to enable this technology to be developed here in the UK. We've got industry and government coming together to fund almost £200 million into the existing ecosystem. We're going to invest into proving grounds and public test environments to create the ultimate uh, deployment centre for connected autonomous vehicles. We're massively excited about the opportunities that there are in connected and automated vehicles currently. 
the collaborative research programs that are going on are bringing in industries from a range of different sectors, so the energy sector, the insurance sector, the communication sector, all of which are building fantastic projects that are helping us to understand what connected and automated vehicle technology means for the future of this country and abroad. We're in a great place here. The environment's set just right. We've got the testing, we've got the people, we've got the skills, we've got the background, we've got the software, we've got the vehicles and we've got the ambition. I invite you to see for yourself how we're starting to deliver this innovative future and how you might be able to help us on this new and exciting journey.